This game is from Battle Cup, so it's not like some super competitive game. I think whenever that happens, you won't have any information on your opponents at all, right? Most likely. And what that means is like you should try to draft as robust a lineup, including like as many of the hero preferences for your team. So I think um, there's a lot of things in drafting that make it more complex. But generally, what you always want in the draft is you i think what it comes down to is like the ability to get kills like it doesn't matter if it's in team fights it doesn't matter if it's in lane but you have to be able to kill your opponent at some point like on the map because that's just how dota works right now so you want to make sure that's a thing you and then to round that off you need to match the opponents like how strong they're in lanes how strong their team fight is and um sort of how strong their way shove is like those are some of the bigger things I think of. It's weird. I don't really think about drafting this way, so I'm trying to word <laughs> it in an okay way for that. But uh, yeah. Okay, so we can't see the heroes anymore. That, that's okay. So they picked Evoker, Jakiro. You guys picked Monkey King. Um, the general concept from first pick is that you have the strong pick on pick one and pick four because you have the first overall pick of the game, and then you have the counter pick to their first two heroes. And then the only other real benefit of first pick is that you have a double pick in phase two. Otherwise, like second pick sort of has three counter picks. So they counter pick your third your first zero, and then they counter pick your um your whatever, your third, your fourth pick and fifth pick. It feels pretty bad. To yeah. So how pick. at TI how first pick worked was they picked the most imbalanced hero of the patch. So, you know, so Magnus, Tiny, Monkey King, whatever they thought was the most imba hero. And then they picked the best hero against what the opponent picked on the next pick. So your hero that you guys pick here should be whatever hero you think is best for these two heroes. Mm. So it's Lina. And um, so I think this is sort of the start of the problem in the draft because if they pick Invoker right here, you guys should pick something that's really good versus Invoker. And that can be in lane or it can be in game. Generally, what's good versus Invoker is things that make him stop moving around because he's a very fast hero. So traditionally, that's been like Kanka, Void Spirit, um, these types of heroes. And the other way to counter him is you can ult farm him really hard in lane and hit him with physical damage. That's like, you know, your TA. Uh, I don't even know what else usually counters Invoker. And lastly, you can counter like what he wants to do in the game, which is you can build heroes that remove Cold Snap, uh, Urn, or Spear Vessel. But I think Lina, she's like she doesn't really do well versus Invoker in lane. I don't think you guys end up putting her mid, and she doesn't get on top of him either. Like if you're gonna pick a four here, it should be someone who gets on top of Invoker, similar to how Void Spirit and Kunkka do it. So that can be like your Earth Spirit, Clockwork, whatever it is. But they have to be able to jump the Invoker. Yeah, it did feel like when we drafted these heroes, the monkey was like intended to be a four and the Lina was intended to go mid. But then mm -hmm. there was like, we just did like a shuffle at, towards the end of the draft. I see. But, it, it's a lot about playing to your own player's comfort, yeah. so I'm not sure if they just wanted Lina. Uh, but that that's how I think about the draft. Like, you should yeah. be trying to, at least in the first picks, like, you, you're not fully fleshing out your lineup. You just want something that's sort of countering what they show and is open so you can build upon it. Okay, so I think Legion is actually a pretty good pick against the Invoker. But if you look at your heroes, one thing that's a problem right now is that you're falling really far behind on team fight because you guys have Legion, Lina, Monkey King, and then they have like Mars, Jakiro, Invoker, who are like three pretty good fighters. And your heroes are like Monkey King's like an okay fighter, but it's sort of weird. And then Lina is, uh, I would say she's pretty mediocre at fighting, and she's like a lot of damage without. Real AOE. And Legion Commander is also single target, right? Yes. So I think you guys fell like your response to a Mars offlane wasn't that good. But if the Lina had been a hero that goes well against Invoker mid and was a bit more robust in draft, then Legion Commander versus Invoker to remove that like code snap factor, it could have worked out, I think. Um, I feel like what happened here was like you guys just saw Jakiro and then like you guys are like, okay, let's just pick the best hero versus Jakiro in lane. Which is like it's not bad, but uh, you couldn't do it because you missed 
the lane counter and invoke already. Oh my god, okay. I made all the heroes disappear again. <laughs> Dude, I don't understand what triggers this bug. Yeah. <laughs> so they picked Winter Wyvern, who is... I would say it's a... It's a pretty weird pick. I mean, Legion's gonna have a free lane. And what this would normally mean is, like, your 4 would be freed up. So, like, if you guys had done that Monkey King 4, he would have a lot of options to roam this game. And then your mid would be, like, already winning mid, so you could put pressure on Evoker. But again, like, it, like Dota in general is pretty, like, uh, cause, effect, snowball -y. So because, like, something happened early in your draft, it's hard to make up for it now. And you guys, they picked Winter Wyvern, who, while he should be a Beos in lane, like, Legion can almost solo versus him. Like, it's not... I don't think it's going to really happen this game, just because mid's not a real gank option. I mean, honestly, Monkey King versus Invoker is not that bad a matchup for Monkey King either, but I think... Lean is just, she's just such a pathetic four right now. Yeah, I feel that the stun uh, cooldown is so bad. Yeah, so I think what ended up happening here is like, you guys picked all your heroes and then you have double purge for the invoker code snap. But other than that, like this is like a very free game for the first pick hero. Like, I don't think any of these heroes really jump invoker. And I don't like, he's just going to cast spells freely. So that means like, He's gonna make so much space this game, and they can pick whatever they want. So they just picked a bunch of team fight and a Medusa, and mm -hmm. you guys should feel like you're on a timer this game, but you have worse team fight, so you have to like snowball the lanes and outplay them really hard this game. It's like a hard draft in that sense. Uh, I think how Dota works is at the end of the day, like you never want to feel like you're forced to do something. Like you want to hit your timings, but you're hitting your timings because it's good to do that in game. You never want to feel like guys, we need to do this, and we have to do this in the game, otherwise we're going to lose. Like, that's not the mindset you want to have to have in the game. 